Here's the big secret about comping and why uh, some people do it so much better than others. There's a change of mindset <clears throat> between being a soloist and being the accompanist. When we solo, 80% of our attention is on our solo. After all, we're the primary speaker at that moment, and the other people are following us. But when you accompany someone, you have to reverse that uh, formula. And instead of thinking about your own playing first and foremost, you have to follow the soloist with your full attention. Try not to get wrapped up in your own playing. I used to see this all the time in uh, student ensembles when I was teaching a lot. And I would watch them play a song, through a song and I would notice uh, that the piano player uh, is in his own world here, comping away, he was working on his voicings and that sort of thing. And I uh, would stop and ask the piano player, says, okay, tell me what the trumpet player was doing in his solo. Describe it for me, give me some description. And the piano player looks blank and says, I, well, I, I was busy comping, I don't know. Well, if you were so busy comping that you didn't pay any attention to the soloist, you weren't doing a very good job of comping. Uh, you should notice, for instance, that the trumpet player did a kind of a chromatic thing in the first eight. Uh, he did a nice uh, uh, change of pace when he went into the bridge. He got lost for a moment in the last eight and played a couple of wrong changes. Uh, you would remember, you would notice things that went on if you were paying attention to, this, to that solo. Our instinct is not to listen to the soloist. We're sort of trained from experience all through the years to take care of number one first, make sure we're not making any wrong notes, and uh, pay attention to what we're doing. And we only peripherally seem to notice what else is going on in the band. And in this case, you really need to break that habit and throw your attention over onto the solo. I guarantee you that if you're listening to the solo with full attention, it's almost impossible for you to get in the way of what the soloist is doing. You will not be playing chords that clash, you will not be rhythmically getting in the way, you won't be overplaying because if you're listening to the solo intensely, you will, in fact, drop your uh, comping attacks into the right places. So uh, next time you're accompanying somebody, think about that and try to really put your attention over there. You may, you know, comp a lot less at first, and you may uh, struggle with this going back and forth. I mean, your, your instincts will be to constantly drift back to your own playing and forget about the soloist. It's a, ha it's a new habit that you're going to have to learn to substitute for the old one. But once you can follow the soloist that well, uh, believe me, your comping will uh, dramatically change for the better.